when it's all on the line. This is your moment. Second place is not an option. When you tie on a bait by Strike King, you're standing on the shoulders of legends. Hey gang, Mark Zona, hanging with you, MichianaOutdoorsNews.com, and the CEO, the, no, the Hall of Famer, Louis Stout, asked me to, I'm sorry, it's so great and weird to say at the same time, asked me to talk to you um, about smallmouth and wobble heads, swing heads, and I actually want to start with a story, is I started throwing this quietly uh, about three or four years ago for smallmouth, and we were up north uh, on a lake just outside of Alpena. And it was one of those deals that the fish were, you know, they were in that four to 10 foot of water on, on straight gravel and boulders. And we went through it with tubes. And I'll never forget this. Um, two pounder, two pounder, two and a half pounder, catching them on tubes and stuff like that. And catching them, but not what we wanted. And what's funny was I pulled this out because I had come back from fishing down south and started throwing this, and it was four pounder, four pounder, four pounder, five pounder. And that's where the light bulb went off, and then I went on to Mill Lax and, and did a bunch of it there, and learned the true power of this for smallmouth. Number one, you notice I said you want it in rocks, you want it in sand, you want it in something hard. You don't want it in sand grass or, or mill foil, because it'll just foul it, okay? Uh, the one grass that you can sneak it through is cabbage, uh, but predominantly you want it in rock. And here's the beauty of this. Um, this is a Strike King tungsten swing head where it comes without a hook. It comes just like that, okay? I attach my hook to it, and that's what I like about it, is I want a heavy, heavy gauge hook. That's a Trocar 4 aught mag worm hook. You don't want a light wire hook. You want a heavy gauge hook because you're using artillery. Before we get into the artillery, here's the beauty of this is I almost want you to think of a swim jig that's hitting the bottom, okay? Because what you're getting out of that tungsten swing head is if you use a standard lead wobble head, it does not transmit as much feel as that tungsten does. And what you want to do is when you're rolling it on the bottom and it's conk, 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 and one junks it. Number one, it's one of the most vicious smallmouth bites you'll ever hear. You just want to keep reeling until your rod loads and then you hit them. If you hit them immediately, that tungsten will open his mouth up and you'll lose them, okay? Uh, really what I use on this is 20 pound Seaguar Abrazex. Um, it's abrasion resistant because I want it in rocks. And the other side is I want to swing the hammer on them. I actually use a, uh, a Daiwa Tatula frog rod uh, that has a lot of backbone and I actually use a very high speed reel. Uh, this reel is a 7.3 to 1. I'm not scared to go to an 8 to 1 reel. Um, the other side of this is reach out and touch somebody launch it and a straight reel. I got, I got a Rage Menace on here, uh, a standard Rage Bug is fine, and here's how I go about my sizes. Is 10 foot of water and less, half ounce, 10 foot of water and deeper is when I'll go to a three quarter ounce. Um, there's a Zona show that's gonna air outside of Dunkirk that'll really, really explain this whole technique here in a couple weeks. Um, but, but I'm dead serious about this. You have to be hitting the bottom to really give it that crunch action. The other side is wait to hit them. And I, and I, and I mean this. All you smallmouth heads that get on Michigan Outdoors News that throw tubes, that throw yummies, that throw grubs, try this this year. I promise you it will be in your arsenal. Hall of Famer! <laughs>